If you're like me, before you buy anything new in terms of boys' toys, you might want to exercise some due diligence. And the way I do that is I usually wait for she who must be obeyed to go to bed so I don't have interruptions. And that also allows me to sneak in a second beer because, as you may have seen from other videos, I really have to try and keep that waistline down and the beer is having an effect. So um, I had to go to emergency after that last video because I was sucking my stomach in so hard it popped out my rectum. Anyway, I know too much information, so let's get on with this. So I basically um, took a look at some of these YouTube videos before I pulled the trigger to grab a float from Brew Brain, and this is kind of what you end up with if you're looking on YouTube so this gives you some stuff to start off with and then um, if you do get your brew brain before you do that as well I would recommend you go to the brew brain website and go through their FAQ section and review some of the topics in there which is also what I did and that gave me a pretty good idea of what to expect when I did get my brew brain. In spite of that though, I did end up spending more than half a day because my router continued to shit the bed and lose the internet as I was trying to set the float up. I eventually got it worked out and I'm putting that down to using uh, tomato firmware on my router which I had flashed on it. So those are all fair things to be aware of and I just want to show you some uh, unedited, uncensored user feedback that I got from the first batch of sales. 12 went out and two people got back to me and this is a couple of comments that I received and I want to share them with you. So the first one you can see here, I already do not like this device. I have spent an hour trying to connect it to my network with not success. These devices should be easy, not hard. What is the return policy? Well, we'll get onto that return policy at the end of this video, so I'm sure everybody has that burning question in their mind. Then, um, from another user in Canada, I received my float yesterday and have been playing around with it. It seemed to work great outside of the fermenter, but it could not transmit a signal strong enough through the stainless steel fermenter to get my Wi-Fi access point. At 1300 today I installed the new temporary Wi-Fi access point right beside the fermenter. It appears to be working great now and so on. And I had a look at his uh, graph and it looks like he's brewing a lager and it appears to be going well now. And he also did share with me because we did some back and forth that um, he is one or two floors above the fermenter which is down in his basement and I'm not sure if he's on the floor above or the floor above that so he did mention that seemed to be um, part of the problem back up to the first user that had this problem uh, one of the uh, uh, topics of angst that he uh, demonstrated or mentioned was that he had a bunch of other devices that connect to his router and he really didn't want to have to go in and start changing settings in the router for fear that all his other devices might have trouble connecting and um, unless you're on uh, if you're on the recommended router settings and you're not running five then chances are you won't have any problems I had no problems with any of my devices after I changed my routing settings they just simply connected. So we're gonna have a look at what is involved with uh, changing your router settings here. Before you pull the trigger to buy a float you've already now been made aware that there could be issues with Wi-Fi or with using a steel container we're going to deep dive into that a little more here now and unpack some of the procedures that may address some of these problems and that may solve these issues. So first of all I think maybe what we'll do is have a look at my router 
and um, see if the settings make any sense to you. Here's what the Wi-Fi looks like and yours is going to somehow have some of these settings in here and so what we're going to be talking about is this BG Mixed. In my case I had to change that from Auto to BG Mixed and I had to change the channel over here and then I had to change security and the encryption as well. Well, actually, uh, any of those I think will work with the float. So, now that you know that those are what you need to look for, what we should do here is we'll run through them here again. So, under your security settings, you might have to do any of these three things. For encryption, you're going to need one of those and under your main router settings here are some other things to be aware of that could make the difference to your setup and once you've got those in hand you reboot your router and then uh, go back to follow the instructions there again they're on the BrewBrain website um, and here's some more things you can try if you're still at that point where you're not getting anything. Try some of these pointers here and see if any of these are of any assistance. And then um, when you've done that, we're going to move on to the other issue that was the second point that we saw when we first got on to this video which is using uh, a stainless steel fermenter such as what uh, Matt had mentioned in that second part there. So um, me being a radio guy I often have clients who buy a handheld radio that are sledders and then the first thing I hear is gee what's going on I was on the logging road and none of the logging trucks could hear me and I have to try and point out to them you, when you're sitting inside a metal box like a Faraday cage basically and you're trying to transmit out on it it's just uh, not a good idea it's just not going to work of course the float is on a much higher frequency and it has better luck with getting out of a metal box than a VHF radio does but having said that, it's still uh, a challenge and it's working hard to do that. So this is why BrewBrain has made these following points that you're seeing here now. And so be aware of those. And um, if you have an iPhone, then go through some of these and be aware of some issues with the iPhone. So those are all the main points and you'll see more of them by going to Brubain's fact page looking in their manual just take your time and go through all the stuff on there to be familiar with what you might be looking at it doesn't mean you will be as seems to be experienced when I go into the public uh, brew pages for all the people that are users that are in the cloud and making their brew recipes public so you've tried all that and you still aren't having any luck well I guess it's not beyond the realm of possibility that you could have a faulty float and that would need to be addressed and we're not going to leave you just high and dry but by the same token I'm not that nice little sales lady that stands behind the desk at Costco all day and you know takes back your pair of jeans that you wore for a month or the milk that went bad in your fridge. Um, no, this isn't Costco. So there is due diligence on both of our sides that are our responsibilities and uh, I will definitely fulfill them. First of all, you contact me uh, with a description of the problem and pictures are always helpful. And I want to know uh, what happened and uh, what you did. 
and if I'm still not um, satisfied you might need to provide some screenshots like if you're just like no I got like um, a bunch of stuff and I don't want to have to log into my router and change anything and no I wasn't aware that I might need to do that when I bought it that won't work um, then I'm like okay uh, well you are gonna have to try these things and if you say well this should be simple I'll go yeah well too bad so sad it's not and um, but if you do do your due diligence and it's you're having that problem I will issue a return merchandise authorization and give you instructions on how to proceed and just so you're not out of pocket uh, you send it back from the most economical shipping method so if it's in the states uh, it is probably I think they call it their first first class package or something like that for $14.95 uh, tracking is not required just send it back and if it's a f all tested and if I can't connect it to my network which is very fussy uh, then you'll get a new replacement and if I don't have any stock then just refund you plus refund the cost that you paid to send it back so that your net sum uh, no liabilities on that transaction that's the way it works um, if it's not faulty then uh, you get to have it sent back to you and then you get to pay the cost of the return shipping if that all sounds fair you know go and order one and uh, if you don't like that terms then maybe something else is better for you um, I did look at the other alternatives and saw that some of the other things like the volatility with the specific gravity due to the um, turbidity uh, that's in your wart they all experience that and they have USB issues uh, they have Bluetooth issues so um, if you think that something else is better I would encourage you to really take a look in some of the forums and uh, when she who must be obeyed has gone to bed stay up late and go through some of them and after you've done all that due diligence then you can decide what's for you and what isn't and hopefully that uh, that's where we can help you so thanks a lot